Question number 12. Dr. Thank Megan you, Mr. Woods. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Police. What is the annual cost of economic crime in New Zealand? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. An annual cost of economic crime is difficult to accurately identify, but I've seen a draft report that indicates uh, the cost of economic crime to be in the range of around six to nine billion dollars. Wow. Sup supplementary supplementary question. question, Dr. Megan Woods. Why was the cost of economic crime report of the serious fraud office not completed? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr. Speaker. Considerable work was done on that report to estimate the figure, including reviewing and adapting similar pieces of work from around the world. But it became clear that the proposed methodology, largely developed overseas, was not directly applicable to the New Zealand uh, context. So as a, conse uh, as, as a consequence, the SFO, in consultation with other government agencies, ended that body of work. Supplementary question, Dr Megan Woods. Was the Ministry of Justice consulted regarding the decision not to proceed with the Serious Fraud Office report on the cost of economic crime in New Zealand? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Uh, Mr Speaker, as far as I'm aware, the answer to that question is yes. Supplementary question, question Dr Megan Woods. Was the former Minister of Justice, Judith Collins, in any way involved in the decision not to proceed with the Serious Fraud Officer's report on the cost of economic crime in New Zealand? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Well, Mr Speaker, I'm not in a position to be able to answer that question. I don't have any knowledge, but I'd be very happy to consider it if the member puts it down in writing. Mr Speaker. Point of order. I uh, seek Dr. leave Megan to... Woods. Thank you. I seek leave to table a document that shows that the Office of the former Minister of Justice, Judith Collins, provided a copy of the SFO's Scale of Fraud report under the Official Information Act to a requester in January 2014. And what's the source of the document? Uh, the document is a table of fulfilled OIA requests compiled by the Office of the current Minister of Justice, the Honourable Amy Adams. So now you're writing about an OIA action Order, order, order. 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 I'm not exactly sure what the document is, to be honest, and I don't want to put the leave or consider putting the leave. Just could the member well, just. To... Can have it. It's Order. 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 Dr. Megan Woods, without interjection, can I find out what the document is? Um, it's a list of OIA requests that the, mini that the but, minister. But they've already been released. They, it shows that the Minister of Justice Order. had the report in Order. January no, 2014. I now understand the documents are retained under the OIA and they've been released, so they're available to everybody anyway. Is that right? Order. Could the member just try and explain the document to me? Yes. It, is, it is a table of OIA requests that the Minister of Justice fulfilled, showing that she had a copy of the report in January Listen, 2014. The easiest way to... Order. I'm going to put the leave... Order. There are too many interjections on these points of order. I'm going to put the leave and the House can decide. Leave us sought to table that particular table uh, listing um, OIA documents. Is there any objection to that being tabled in this House? There is not. It can be tabled. Point of order, Mr Chairman. Point of order, Dr Megan Woods. I seek leave to table a transcript of the, the then Minister of Police. Order. What's, where's the transcript from? Um, it is a draft transcript of the e estimates hearing of the Law and Order Select no, Committee order. showing order. that the Minister order. of Police... Order. Order. The member can resume his seat. That's available. Supplementary question, Dr. Megan Woods. Did the former Minister of Ju Did the former Minister of Justice, Judith Collins, support the decision to abandon any further investigation by the SFO on the cost of economic crime in New Zealand? Mr. Speaker. Uh, Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, I'm not in a position to be able to answer that question, but if the member puts the question down in writing, I would be very happy to give her a response. We... Point of order. Point of order. Mr Speaker, I just want to raise an issue with you that relates to the previous ruling uh, regarding that exchange uh, the, um, around the tabling of the document by Megan Woods, in which you indicated that a document released under the OIA was publicly available. That's no. not the case with... Uh, OIA documents are typically released to one yeah. person. Order. Order. And I don't need any further... The difficulty was the way the document was explained. It was very, very difficult for me to comprehend what it was that we were dealing with. 
when I finally realised it was simply a table of documents that had been released. Listen, the House decided it's been tabled. That's the end of the matter. We move now to question to members. Question number one, in the name of Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the member in charge of the education, breakfast and lunch programme.